Hi, welcome to Kindred Spirit Readings. Uh, let's begin Aries. So, brand new week, big ideas. I, I do want to say brand new ideas, but I do feel that you could be continuing doing something from last week that has continued on into this week. So there is some unfinished uh, business uh, from the previous week, but you're still moving ahead with your schedule really, really well. In fact, you're making sure that you're leaving nothing behind. So I am seeing that you're quite organized in the way that you work things, uh, work with uh, matters um, in the way that you work with your schedule, okay? You could be questioning a lot of your past, and th this is not to say that you're potentially heading in the wrong, headed in the wrong direction, or setting yourself up for something that could potentially become a setback. Uh, this is definitely going to bring somebody to tears, if not, uh, if not yourself, because there's a lot to consider in terms of where you see yourself, and I think that a lot of hurt comes from this, and a lot of thinking, or perhaps even overthinking, regarding family and friends. Uh, you're finally ready to move on. Um, any Anything that involves becoming a part of what you want that is new, uh, however that translates to you, this could really prove to others how far you have come. Uh, that being said, it could be simply could simply be reuniting with your past or somebody from your past. Uh, now, let's say you haven't seen somebody in five years, okay? I, I do get something around four to five years. There's a lot of angst and a lot of repetitive behavior uh, coming in from somebody else uh, as we speak. I do see that you'll be meeting with this person again, but the only difference is, and, and quite a big one, is, is how they're going to notice how well you're doing or how far you've come. As I mentioned previously, I'm sort of just seeing that you reconnecting or reuniting with somebody, but you're not the same person and they're going to notice that and they're going to see that very clearly indeed. You're much better without them, which will be the the biggest, uh, this is the message in regards to all of this, you're, you're much stronger without them and um, this is not to say that you could disregard them altogether, however I'm not going to rule that out, okay, and maybe asking you know, why would I associate myself with somebody that I simply don't need to? That's what I see you asking yourself. Um, if you're if you're reuniting with someone, I do see you keeping it rather simple. There is that as well. I do see that the ball is in your court. So this is not going to, as I said, this is not going to become a setback for you. This is one of those areas of your life that is doing really uh where you're doing rather well. I do see that you're not unleashing too much to this person. You're not revealing yourself too much as you used to, uh, as you once used to. Because it, it, if I go back 10 years ago, I do see something about heart, heartstrings being pulled, left, right, and center. And this was nonstop. And this was you giving your all, if not more. I mean, there's just this difficulty around the way of control. People were very controlling 10 plus years ago and you had a lot of controlling individuals in your life, one in particular, and this could have really struck a chord to, to want to make a change, to want to make a difference. Uh, you doing your life by your rules. But because of that control that you once had, constantly weighing you down, you sort of decided to make a move once and for all. Then you did, and then the new you evolved. And this is incredible. You've never felt so alive. So you've never, you know, you've never felt so independent. You've never felt so strong within yourself. Enough to say, um, you know, that there's more than enough to sort of uh, say about that. You know, you're, you're basically saying, I, I get it now. It's taken me this long. However... I'm in a better place. I don't see you ever wanting to go back to your old ways, which is great. Um, there is somebody that's coming in to talk to you about the seriousness of their sickness. Now, this started some months ago, but it's sort of slowly, uh, slowly, pardon me, resurfacing again. You may have found something out, let's say, two months ago, uh, perhaps even more. But there's this it's sort of something keeps coming in it's going back and there's a back and forth type of energy it, it's something's happened regarding somebody else's health this is uh this person is female uh then what's happened is i do see that this is sort of uh when it comes to their health something is definitely has has spiked and they're going to tell you about it it's not going to be so secretive as it was first time around so it's going to be more about okay i'm ready to expose what's really going on i'm not afraid this time however i'm still afraid um I do feel that this person was hesitant to come out into the open first time around. 
So there is more honesty, which uh, is going to help the lot of you. There is more chaos that is attached to this as well. I'm not going to lie about that. I mean, that could turn out to be, uh, this situation could turn out to be extremely chaotic indeed. But the fact that they're willing to just let go and allow for themselves to reach out to you uh, more so than ever before, it feels right to them. So it's going to feel really comfortable as well, as though they're seeing you as their safe place, as their safe space. Thank you, Aries.